Hen House Studio started about six years ago, and it's an independent record label and DVD production company. Everything we do is music-based. Uh, the way it first started was we wanted to build a small soundstage, which is where we are today, where you could actually record music and film it at the same time. And then we invited musicians in, and we, we, we told them that they could record for free in exchange for the right for us to film them. So in the end, we would own the rights to the music only as it related to the footage. And then they could take the music home and do whatever they wanted with it, which for us was great. We took the footage and we made documentary films from it. Some, you know, we made one big film with 50 bands in it. And then we made some other films, like we, like we had a band here that we really liked, and we kept them here for a little bit longer. And we filmed the, their creative process, and then we go outside the studios and interview them. And then from that idea, we started realizing we were ending up with all these great tracks that we didn't own the right to release because they were mated to our footage. So then we went back to the artists, and the label was born, and we started licensing back the songs without the image and started releasing compilation records and then started making full length albums and then people's you know the word kind of got out that we you know once people realized the fidelity was decent enough then people started calling and it's not really it's never been a studio for hire and um, we've done some stuff like we'll help out other documentary filmmakers because documentary filmmaking is, is mainly a labor of love there's very few films that make money so we'll, uh, we all, we'll open our studio up really cheap for people who need to do some documentary film work but other than that we basically produce everything that we release here and uh, it's been it's been really fun we've been having a really good time and for us um, really what's made all this possible is the internet um, yeah, I had a, a hen house it used to be called Stone Mountain Entertainment before that, and we had distribution through a, a formal distributor, a really good distributor, Koch. And we realized then that this whole model of you know sending your CDs out and and you know going in a truck and going to the stores was really something that was going going to die out. And, and for me, it also, it, you know, it's it's a bad analogy, but it, it seemed like a bad drug deal. Not that I'm into drugs or anything. It's like, you know, when when, when I, I know when people sell drugs, they always go through a, a different hands and you know people take their cut and by the time you get paid the, you end up with hardly anything and that's sort of what happened with the physical distribution that I noticed it's like the distributor would get paid and then they you know sometimes we would be um, there'd be a sub distributor so maybe two people would get paid and then we would get paid and then we would pay the artist so by the time we got paid and the artist got paid a long time had gone by and then funny things would happen with the money and with the internet the accounting is instantaneous I mean you sell when we sell a CD, we get an email five seconds later letting us know that we sold a CD. If we want to know what's going on as far as accounting, you don't have to go out and hire a fancy accountant. You can just, they allow, the really good websites that sell stuff have back-end accounting where you can sign in and see who bought it, what their name are, what, you know, what, their, what, their na what their names are, what their email addresses are, what countries they're from, you know, sometimes phone numbers, though we don't call anybody. But you, know, you get all this information. And then plus, we finally got commerce on our site about four years ago, and people buy from our site and it's all set up the same way so it's I mean the internet has been I think one of the best things for people um, it's been really bad for the big labels but the thing that they don't ever talk about from the mom and pop labels like us it's been fantastic it's allowed us to compete on, on at a, a, almost the same level I mean they still have more money for marketing and things like that but as far as availability our records are just as available as theirs and you know we had one DVD movie that was in Tower Records and then now Tower Records went under which already is just you know for us I mean it hurt us a little bit but not really you know it's totally in lines with uh, what what we want to be about which is you know all just a digital based company